So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course, we are back with another talking about video. It's super late at night. I'm a little bit tired. I've had it all day. It's my birthday. Here I know it. As I'm scoring to this. So by the time it goes up, my birthday will probably already be over. We got Berlin a couple more hours. Um, new same day Berlin stuff like that. Of course, um, we kind of want to get this video out. Of course, um, so yeah, so Global did get the update, um, they finally fixed some bugs, they finally fixed the supply um, issue, if you literally under a rock or whatever, Global have a little bit of a mess up, just because, um, the support items, every time you use one in a stage, it will crash, so it can like, literally crash, um, they fixed that, I believe it was because the 5 year update, 6 year, 6 year update, um, for Global had, like, you know, implemented, I think they implemented costumes and, like, revival skills, I think that's already in the game already, because Global, you know, for JP, that was their update, um, Global can get stuff really early. It happened last year or five years with the equipment because everybody in the game was like, oh, we got equipment in the game. We're going to get equipment sooner or later. It was no, they, they, they were saving it for the five years. So um, we had to add it early in last year as well. So it makes sense, stuff like that. Um, the issue was with the support items, which was a new thing. They tried to implement that in the game, but unfortunately, they didn't really work out. I kind of get it because like, they want to implement everything from five to six years, but unfortunately, support items did not work. I have no idea why or what happened. Um, again, it's just, it's just a little bit of a common mistake. I get the, uh, because it does fill up. I think I now know why, because every time you try to use a support item, it would crash now. I kind of get it because, you know, the, you had to take away the two slots in order to make support items for support memories, and Unlinkable imp imp implemented that in, like, that factory, and they could have pushed it early. I wouldn't mind, but at the same time, maybe I'm like, oh, they pushed this early, but they pushed action skills and blah, 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 blah. They didn't push with the costumes. Like, guys, I'm not going to do all that. They would have probably did for Saint David, but. We have units over decks. Nope, okay. Just, just okay, just bum, bum me in the corner. All right, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, I will do a whole mobile video breakdown of this stuff because everybody's gonna ask, play ask, where's the mobile breakdown? Where's the mobile breakdown? <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'm um, on the next piece. Um, quick go my JP idea. Download a couple hours ago. I was gonna do a whole separate video for this because we got a new planetary destruction category, which also seems pretty solid, though, honestly. I want to see what kind of character characters on there because I like to kind of break it down with these videos as well. Who's got the full Saiyan Day info again? This is for both Global and JP. Um, the Wake About Instinct Saiyan Day campaign, of course, last year. Last year's was completely trash. Only like what, four new things. That was it. A couple new free to play units. Which they weren't bad. They showed you got an easy A's and core of the Great Bardock squad. Clash of Melee Bardock this year's Broly. Honestly, time wise, kind of makes sense. Whatever. On the next year's Super Saiyan Trunks from the Mecha Fist Fight, that was one of the candidates. Him, God, Goku, or this Broly. There were like three. The three Saiyans by Fate. A. Um, they're all there, so yeah. Of course, we're gonna go through the campaign. Of course, login bonus, typical stuff. Um, missions, typical stuff. Um, I'm gonna say login bonus and special mission, typical stuff. So we're gonna get a lot of the meat um, um, item from this um, campaign. Good though. Um, this, I know this Trunks already is new. I think this one has from the Super Attack, I think it's. Um, this gun already is from Chain Battle, not Chain Battle, um, Battlefield, I believe, as well. So we're gonna go ahead and see this card right This is more of a sales hug, it's more of a like, good Bojack movie, I think. I don't know, I can't believe exactly. Or Bowling movie, one of the two, they kind of cut the face of the uh, long hair trunks and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, Dragonstone sale, Bowling's Dark and Fest event will be a couple more hours at this recording. Or two more hours, so it should go up by then. Hopefully, I'll try to get out early as I can. Um, I'll just upload whatever I'm done with it. Um, hopefully, it won't take that long. Planetary Destruction, that's a new category. Um, Otakai Banner, of course, that means the next Dark Fest will probably be on the first. That will be a global first thing. It kind of, it kind of does make sense. I think last year, yeah, cause April Fool's, that makes sense why, because I remember last year, uh, April Fool's, the day before, and the day on the extra day of, we got like the April Fool's day, and stuff, you know, um, units and stuff like that. But could cause the ones the moment EZA, or like past EZA, past EZA, they did with the Halloween celebration, they EZA to go tanks and do, um, Candy Vegito and you know, Ghost and Go Tanks. I would honestly kind of see like, you know, Bomb EZA, or like go Goku, the 8 bit Goku, 8 bit Vegeta EZA. They haven't done that at all yet, but I feel like they could do that. Um, or they'll be like, probably like Holly Guard. Halloween kind of thing. Like, you know, kind of bring that because you know, we had like a new unit. They were like two, like, we had like, past EZA. Next year, they'll probably do like, you know, the EZA, like the Great Sam and Trunks outfit. Um, or Grandpa Gohan and Pan. They'll probably do like a new unit. They'll probably do that next year. Um, but sort of um, event right there, of course. They do even talk about history of the Saiyans. I think it's versus Turles. It's seven of them, I believe. So it's Turles, I think. Raditz? Nappa. Scout of Vegeta. Turles. Of course, I know Broly's on there, and I think Pericus, I believe, is six, and I think seven, I can't remember what seven was. I think it's King Vegeta, or not King Vegeta, I don't know, I can't remember. Let me hit me up the video, I'm like, wait a minute. Um, but yeah, a new easy area, of course, for Super Saiyan, Go 10, no, Super Saiyan 
the eight Super Saiyan Gohan, and of course Kaiken Goku. I'm um, Team Gohan from the Blue Saga and Kaiken Goku right here uh, from the Zen Saga. They're getting easy ace. I completely forgot about that from the Fun Project Celebration. Global, they kind of they were going to implement that on Global before the you know Crisis Update or whatever before the update happened. Say I'm calling the Crisis Update. I just hit it in my head. I watch a lot of music, so um, that'll be there. Um, of course, all the grocery events will be back and stuff like that. Of course, we got some other um, events coming back as well. Kid Goku, Nimit Goku, um, <laughs> Bardock. It makes sense for last year. Like, how can Blue Goku and the Blue Goku be there? It seems like these are all going to be the candidates for the banner. It honestly it doesn't seem that bad. We're really probably the worst one of all of them because it's just an easy A. It's just, again, they make Gotenks and this guy's just like an embarrassment on him. So, he's a bum. Um, but yeah, overall, the, actually, I mean, Bar makes sense because he was last year. Kakan Blue Goku, I wish did also makes sense. But again, overall, this could be mean nothing. It is one celebration, I think. It was on Halloween. It was Bardock. It was literally Bardock, this guy. So yeah, like I said, um, all those events, it seems like, because it is for Halloween as well, they brought, brought, they brought back Bardock, Cooler, Intro 13, they brought, they brought back all the story event, fest events, and it didn't really mean anything. But until, like, Halloween Better came out, it's like, oh, you always use work confirmed. For the banner, so yeah, I mean, we could think, oh, it could be confirmed for the banner, it makes sense, but overall, though, it won't be that bad of a banner, honestly, it makes sense the same and stuff like that. But overall, though, not bad of a banner, like, if it's like this, not really that bad. Um, we feel like order player, because you can have all these guys, but for me, got the belt, and plus, these guys, we already knew they can be back on the banner anyway, for parties. Um, well, boy, so events are back, though, so I guess, because I was like, oh, yeah, these events are coming back, we're getting updated and stuff like that, but for JP, they are getting new supports, have movie Krillin right here, I think, from this event. Um, so, yeah, I believe, so yeah, every boy's story event's coming back, mixing some stuff like that, of course, um, every day is going to be back, um, that's kind of typical, this is coming back as well, um, oh yeah, I forgot, LR Bros getting his EVA, um, I forgot I mentioned that, he's finally getting his EVA and stuff like that, so yeah, of course he's going to have a banner, unlike you at Goku, which kind of does make sense because anniversary and stuff like that, but every unit, every Dragon Quest unit has had a EVA, three plays don't count, just no problem them. um, but every other unit has had an EVA, they have had a, they have really had an EVA event, Summon, which is some of them, of course, either areas don't really count either, which is weird, but I mean, because those are usually cool because the, the reason that easy area is there to be like, okay, just get a few full these units, they're not because they know that they're not gonna have all of them though. But he's having a legendary summon easy banner, which I'm also curious to see because we have not seen any of these. Or like Goku and Frieza again, makes sense, but at the same because those easy just kind of came out of nowhere for anniversary for like zero, so I don't know. I thought they should have banners because. I mean, Broly has like no excuse either, like literally the same thing. But talking about like, like you know, regular like, legendary summon banner, so you know, then you gotta get this guy, so that's probably up for higher and more of that. Um, of course, I mean, your power to Goku campaign, we're gonna do all these, of course, special call missions with Goku and JP. We gotta work together, quick to be Broly, and get a new wallpaper. Typical cool stuff. Again, they're just missions for Goku and JP to do together. Of course, we get the wallpaper, it's gonna have like certain energy or whatever. So yeah, we got like stage one, two, three, get special prizes like orbs, cousins, any of some neat items or whatever. A um, new train battle versus um, Duke Gohan, Super Saiyan 2 for the Bojack movie will be coming as well. Makes sense, but then, um, huh? Like, this chick came out with Bojack, but again, it's just a lot of time, but the Gordon Freeza, I think. No, I think, no, it's just Omeka. He came out then during the Bojack celebration, the guy, um, we got this is yeah, then watch the next celebration, like, have a um, train battle, but then after that, we'll probably have one. But again, I say the 6 year one for JP will be for Global, the German one, for Bojack. Um, of course, um, all these, you know, Dragon Ball Super Story events coming back, but it's the Pride event. Um, we have some Knuckles costume, Kappa Vegeta, um, the Battle Costume event for Vegeta. That's my little thing. Um, so yeah, interesting builds are coming back, but, I don't know. So yeah, there's a lot of celebration, actually. In my opinion, though, it wasn't really good, though, honestly. I, I think there's a lot of good stuff in the celebration, honestly, in my opinion, though. Um, not bad, not too bad, um, way better than last year. Last year was just horrible, like that, no excuse for last year. Um, but this year has, again, last year had no excuse. This year is way better, though. We're going to talk about history and the Broly, um, just overall good stuff. Again. I like it, it's worth it, it's really great and stuff like that, so yeah. Same day 2021, it's off soft, pretty solid, though, so it's actually really good. Um, New Planet is Terry Destruction category right there. Um, of course, will be, like I said, a couple more hours, so just a full time frame and stuff like that. And with the easy area, I'll probably do another mobile video for that to kind of go over that. Because, you know, we're going to do support items and stuff like that. Um, this is a new channel battle against Gohan. Again, Space Travelers Warriors, Project 2 category, um, Trefine Conquerors, and Nemekians. I think like a lot of people jump on the banner. I didn't really that much because I was like, I didn't really need anything from there. But um, for me, the channel battle will probably be a little bit tougher. Um, but. 
Yeah, I feel like this one's gonna kinda suck off a little bit. Besides, no, actually, because both um, Chevron Cock Course and Traveling Boy is actually both really good. New Ekans, kind of a little bit of flux back and forth, but like, whatever, I feel like it should be okay as well. Um, this is a new transport item. I believe it's kind of different as well. So, all attack into, so attack um, of all enemies at the start of battle um, goes down by 5% for, for the first turn. Second turn goes down 4%, and for a third turn goes down 3%. 3% all ones. I said 3rd 3%. Um, I think this is the, um, of course, I believe. Okay, this is an animation for it though. Um, yeah, I kind of like it though. <laughs> I like the team for it. I've heard be like, do stop believing. I like that, um, so yeah. That's pretty one piece one so far. That little chair ball, some trees and balls on it. That was pretty kind of cool. Um, this is a new boiler, of course, it's a metal, of course, it's good. Um, Duck Fest story event. I'll get an update. Also, something else, someone kind of pointed out, LR Quillen's potential, um, campaign. Because this mission was found in the game's data. So I guess I'm the first one to get that. I can play, uh, I know you forgot about this. But I think it came out like what? Year? I can't remember. So, um, of course, Global and JPR gave me a category called Planetary Destruction. Seems honestly pretty solid, though, honestly. I feel like they got some stuff right. Of course, all the trolls squad members on there because Ball Sack Guy is on there. So, yeah, the Ball Sack Guy, um, played great kind of stuff. Um, I call it literally, yeah. He literally is like a walking, literally, big ball, dirty Dan. Nasty patty from Spongebob, so yeah. Um, uh, yeah, all crews on here, all Golden Freezer on here, makes sense. Cool makes sense, he destroyed plants when he ever felt like it. Golden Freezer makes sense as well, he destroyed Earth. Cell, LR Cell, I'm gonna it on here, cause that's what if. Champa makes sense. I feel like Vado should be on here as well, cause he destroyed the whole planet. Beers, yeah, Beers, I'm glad he made it. I had to think he made it on here. He was so did to destroy the world. Trust makes sense because his tree destroyed the planets. Jackie Jr. was honestly a surprise. I was like, wait a minute, what? I was like, oh, it makes sense because he just destroyed the moon with Goku. Hey, Piccolo should be on here? Yeah, he's on here too. Full part Frieza's on here. Yeah, because every Frieza should be on here because they destroyed all the planets. So, look at a category for Frieza. Kabo Vegeta's on here. That's just a pretty good. Um, you could be a really short planet in the palm of his hand. He mentioned that in the his fight, Majin Vegeta, fight with Goku. Broly's on here. Akibu's on here. Maybe if I was the only one missing on here, I don't really know complaints about the category. I talk about it in another video, though. But I do Broly's on the Doku Mr. Van. Well, it's not pretty solid though, so this year almost is really way better than last year. Chain Battle may not be for JP though, but again, um, really good almost this year. Category is great, the celebration is great, way better than last year, just all this stuff way better, way better than last year. All stuff is really good. Zandate 2021, good job. So yeah, see you guys later though. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, great life. I'll come to you again though. Make sure all your face is stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless. I'll be going up. Put a wear a mask. All that. All that. So what do you guys think about the same day 2021 campaign? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I think it's really cool. I think it's really great. Um, not really missing any points. Last year was disappointing. I have no idea what the excuse was. This year, way better. Maybe because COVID hit a little bit last year too hard for them. Um, really at the day time last year, my birthday, um, which is today, um, it did, COVID did hit a little bit harder, so maybe that messed up the scheduling or whatever. Overall though, this year, way better. Last year's excuse was not good. This year, good. Even Trevor and Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 brought up was good. Even Matt Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Goku was good. So yeah, last year I had no excuse. Should have just given him a great name. Like an Super Saiyan 3 brought up. So yeah, see you guys later though. Peace out.